Om Shanti. Welcome to 22nd of February's Gauri Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to be yogi yukt and at the same time be someone who is busy in doing service or acting a complete drama out. So Supreme Father says, may you be a karma yogi and receive blessings by keeping a balance of doing service and making effort on yourself. One is giving out energy and one is taking energy from the creator by being in connection with him. So father says a karma yogi is someone who has a balance of yoga while acting. So just like a student remembers what the teacher taught and to remember that the student might remember the face of the teacher, the blackboard, the action which the teacher was doing, the tone of the voice, everything. Similarly over here the script has been given to us by God to enact on this earth. So whom should we remember? The one who has given us the script. So that is what it means to be yogi yukt. So God says, service means acting and making effort on oneself means being yogi yukt. In order to keep a balance of these two, just remember one expression. The father is karavanhar, the one who is getting it done through us. And I, this soul, the soul that I am, I am the karanhar, one who inspires, that is the father, and one who does, that is I, the soul. This one expression will enable you to keep a good, a very good balance and you will receive blessings from everyone because then the timing will be accurate, the words will be accurate, the thoughts will be accurate. This one expression will enable you to keep a very good balance and you will receive blessings from everyone. When you consider yourself to be Karavanhar, that means I am doing it, then the ego comes in. Instead of considering yourself to be a Karanhar, there isn't a balance and Maya then takes her chance. It will bring about inequality, it will bring about misunderstandings, it will bring about ego clashes and much more. To learn this subtle art of being Yogi Yukt, do visit a Brahma Kumari Center. Om Shanti.